Hi, in this tutorial we're going to show you how you can customize your course page in IMU eLearning Portal which is based on Moodle. Now the problem is sometimes when you get a course page is that it is totally blank and the lecture often feels lost unless the administrator has added the course outline. The course is reasonably blank. So in this tutorial we're going to show you how you can play around with the course page and do some interesting stuff. All right. When you get a blank course page, it will look something like this, and you'll feel kind of lost. And say, "Where to start? I don't know where to start." Okay. The first thing you notice is, or we probably notice that you have a certain amount of topics, and you like to change the number of topics, and by default is ten. And in this case, I don't have ten topics; I only have seven. So how do you change? You go to the administration menu, and you go to the settings, and you click settings, and Let's scroll down a bit. You can put in description and so on, but we're not going to do that. This one is critical. Number of topics. Well, you can call it weeks. You have the freedom up to 52. If you have more, you probably have to change the code, but usually you have less. In this case, I only have, say, seven. So I select seven. When you're done, you just simply click Save Changes. And now you notice we only have seven topics. So that is done. So now I've set to that. But there's no content on the front page. You would like to add some content. And maybe you want to move the, the blocks here. See upcoming events and recent uh, activity and so on. So to do that you have to click on Turn Editing On. So I'm going to click Turn Editing On. And you see the page changes and you can edit uh, each individual topic. You can add text to it by clicking this button here. And then you can uh, Add a resource, a label, text page, compose a web page, you can link to a file, you can add a direct directory, you forget about this one, and you can add tons of activities, you can add assignments, you can add ch chat, choice, which is poll, you can forget about the database, you probably want to add a forum, even a glossary, hot potatoes, forget about it. You might want to add a journal, which is similar to assignment, which is just key in text, and so on. And then, of course, the quiz, and a lot of a lot of interesting activities you can add. But what we're going to do now is we're going to focus on a few things. First is how to edit this page here. I mean, you want to put some text. So the first thing is you see these blue buttons here, or these icons, edit. See, you, every topic you can put in some text. Say I want to add to topic one. Okay, I click edit. And here I can actually edit and add some text. So what I'm going to do is I say topic one uh, is what is it? Uh, customize my course page. Okay, and I can put underline here. And you can put a lot of stuff. You can put images. You can even put YouTube videos and so on. But we're not going to emphasize so much on that. But usually you put the topic and maybe the learning objectives. And then you click save. And there you go. See, you have it there. And now you can add resources and so on. But that we're not going to focus so much on the add resource or add an activity. What we're going to focus on these uh, four buttons here. You see these buttons here? So when you add an activity or resource, you can do uh, amazing things. One is if you want to delete it, you click the red button, delete. If you want to hide the item, you can actually click hide here. You see, I click hide. You can see it, but students cannot see it. Okay. Another way is say I want to hide the whole topic I can also do that by this big eye here I can close it by simply clicking it now students will not see topic one you will see topic one but students will not see topic one this can be useful when you want to hide certain topics uh, during the semester or maybe you want to reveal uh, by stage by stage and then you have this interesting uh, this one is the editing if you want to edit I'm not going to go through that one this one is you can move uh, items where there's a resource and activity up and down say that you've added the news from here and you want to move it to topic one you can just click this move button and you can move it to topic one meaning you don't have to delete and create a new one you can simply just move it uh, and besides that you can these activities and these blocks you have here you can delete you can hide you can even move it uh, left or down okay I'm just gonna move it down and what is interesting you have a lot of interesting other blocks which we will not go through today but you have a lot of things you can put in the calendar course menu I like the quiz results which is very interesting if you have quiz you can they can see the top five marks and so on and that is basically some of the things that you can do to edit your front page it's a quick tutorial and it's exactly five minutes 
Thank you.